Ah. All right. Everybody ready? Yes. Is it as easy as it looked? Uh, you know, when you shoot that good, that's... Uh, I always say over the course of 30-some games, you're going to have, I don't know, five or six or seven games where you just shoot great. You know, just all, the ball keeps going in. And then you're going to have a bunch of games where you just kind of shoot normal. And then you're going to have six or seven or whatever it is where you really, really struggle to get the ball in the basket. And great seasons are made you're going to win your games when you shoot like that so you know what when you when you shoot yeah it, it was it made it a lot easier because because we had a lot of guys that were really hot tonight but great seasons are made by the games that you win when you can't get the ball to go in the basket and when you add up a whole conference season which is why i've been saying for years you know that the, the conference champions uh, used to get a lot more recognition than they do now because starting in June we're wondering who's going to be in the NCAA tournament you know and I think just just it's such a tough road to go through a any coach will tell you that that the toughest thing is to try to compete for a conference championship and uh, it is a long hard uphill battle with a lot of things in the way and a lot of uh, things to overcome and injuries and illness and and uh, you know issues and all those kinds of things so tonight was great but when I look at it, I'm looking at the whole season and all the things that these guys have have overcome all the things that they've all the challenges they've met and uh, I'm just really really proud and happy for all of them shoots nine for nine tonight Plenty of national stories coming about, out about him, academic All-American. Is he finally getting the recognition he deserves? You know, I, I'm the wrong one to ask because I, I'm – probably number I'm in the top three in America of living in a cave and I don't know what's being said outside and and I really don't I intentionally don't it just I learned a long time ago it just kind of clogs my brain up and puts things in it and sometimes I get you know frustrated with what I hear or I might get mad or I might you know you might get full of yourself or whatever and none of those are any good so I'm the wrong guy but I but if he is getting a lot of recognition then great because you know, come on, he deserves, he deserves so much. Obviously, if he went nine and nine for nine, the coach didn't get him enough shots. But you know, we'll, and then we'll work on that problem as everybody else was making shots too. But uh, he's a he's a special kid. But but you know, he's incredible. But but to me, all these guys are incredible. And and I'm just, I really, I'm I'm just proud to be their coach I'm, I'm proud to have a chance to work with them I'm proud to have watched what they have done what they've become and uh, this was a big night for me I just didn't want I didn't want to go into Saturday with the pressure you know that maybe if we we'd have played poorly or whatever tonight and uh, I know that we've only guaranteed a share but you can't take that away from them and now all our energy it, 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 for, for me is to make sure that every single one of us in our camp does every single thing we can do to make our seniors last day memorable and exciting and fun and perfect and uh, the one thing standing in the way is a very good Memphis team. You talked about how well you guys shoot, shot the ball but shake with the tennis hits and, and the play on the floor with the dribble. Just talk about all that. Yeah, well, Shake's pretty good. You know, Shake, uh, Shake's pretty darn good. There's, there's, he can, he can, he can do some a lot of different areas on a given night. You know, whether it's jump up and score 27 or get a double double or make some passes that that uh, make you shake your head. You know, no pun intended, but but uh, he, you know, nothing he does surprises me. And he's uh, one of his biggest talents, one of many. But but it stands out to me. It stood out in high school when we watched him. Um, one of the one of the ingredients of being a of a high level player is they play the game in in kind of slow motion. 
you know, and some people would criticize, well, Shake, you know, sometimes he looks passive or whatever, but you know what he is? He's, he's under, he's incredibly smooth and he's in, incredibly under control and he plays at a great, great pace. And, and if you talk to older players, you talk to NBA players as they move along in their career or guys that play in Europe, uh, I was just talking to one the other day and it's like, one of the first things he said is how much the game has slowed down for him, and that is an art, and that is a talent. Shake had it in high school, and and that serves him very, very, very well. We we try to teach that, you know, to just slow down. It's not track. It's not track and field. It's it's uh, it's recognition and reading and f feeling the moment, and he does that at a very high level. You talked about the pride in winning at least a share of the conference title that you said can't be taken away, but also the fact that you haven't won it outright yet. How, what was the locker room like after this? How much do you celebrate? You yeah, the, you know, these guys, you know, <laughs> I, I can't wait to see when we really celebrate something. I hope we do something. These guys, for, for you know, I was bragging on them and how great they are and how competitive and how much fun I have with them, but they are really some dud personality dudes. Just so you guys know, they are some duds. And, uh, no, I'm kidding. I love them, but they they're very, you know, even keel emotional wise. And it also speaks to they're, they're not giddy about anything. They're, they're, their goals are always bigger. They're always, you know, we expect it to do that. So, you know, I was kind of hoping to go in the, the locker room. Guys are banging on the walls and whatever. And it was they're happy. But they're not done, and they're not satisfied, and and uh, it's 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 pretty cool, really. I'm kidding about their personalities. It's uh, they're really mature. You know, that's what they are. They're really mature, and and uh, you know, we talked about a couple guys. But gosh darn, I mean, you know, everybody, Sterling, Jeray. I mean, every, everybody, Ben. My gosh, they were wow. What a what a what a group tonight, and uh, you know, Ben and Malagu. Uh, they maybe tweaked his ankle, I think, but hopefully he'll be fine. And it was great to see the other guys get a chance. You can't, you know, in our practices, we got a lot of guys that they're busting their tail. You know, they're they're making us better. They don't get any recognition, but it's glad. I always want to hope that we can be in position to uh, get them some some real minutes in the game. And it was fun to do that. Now with you know tonight behind y'all, and given everything that these seniors have put up with or been through these last few years, what do you think it's going to be like for them uh, before the game Saturday? You know, it's always so emotional. Um, it's so emotional when you're a senior, particularly when you've loved where you've been, you know, when you've had a, uh, a career like these guys have had. I mean, personally and team-wise, uh, it's it's – it's rough. I mean, I, you'll see, I've seen a lot of tears. And sometimes senior night can backfire because there's so much emotion. But, you know, guys, but, but these guys not only have enjoyed a lot of great times, they've probably had more thrown at them. Than, well, not probably. In all the years I've coached, they've had more difficult uh, things thrown at them than any other group I've ever seen. And I am just never ceased to be amazed. They never whined. They never wavered, um, not complain. All they did was, you know, kind of what we try to teach. It's, you know, next play. I mean, life is not always going to go like you want. It's not always fair. It's about dealing with adversity. How are you going to deal? Well, you're going to get plenty of it in your lifetime, let alone in your college career. But these guys were throwing more adversity than any group I've ever been around by far. And they handled it with incredible incredible class and uh, that's why I mean even a special place for them for all their success added with all the tough things that were you know undeservedly thrown at them and so not to say Saturday makes that or breaks that but it just matters to me a lot that they will have the greatest feeling on their last day of playing here would you see in Jure's ability to create a shot for himself off the dribble today? You know, he can he can do that. We just have a number of guys that can do that. And sometimes, you know, sometimes it's your matchup. Sometimes it's just the confidence that's flowing through your veins. Some some nights you have a little bit more than others. And once you start to feel it, you get a little more aggressive. And some nights you're not feeling it quite as much. That's just 
the nature of a season. You hope there's a number of guys that are kind of feeling it, but uh, he has that ability. It's not surprising. He's done. He's had a lot of other games where he just kind of explodes. And speaking of, he's very explosive anyway. Um, but you know, he's such an unselfish guy, and and uh, he he wants to win. And so a lot of times he'll defer. I hope that doesn't sound like a negative word. It's a positive word. He'll just you know he he'll just be a great chemistry guy. And then other times he's broken out and had big offensive games. You've talked through the course of the year about prioritizing your goal, win the regular season, then before you talk about conference tournament, and then do that before you talk about NCAA. And you've talked about the steps that have to be taken to reach those goals. Where on your pecking order of priorities do you put winning every game at home? Hmm. Mm. Gosh darn, I didn't know you guys were asking. That's a hard question. Uh, I will say this, you know, in, in order, the first thing you're trying to do is win your conference. And, and, and it's just, that's such a, that's a big accomplishment. And gosh, you can feel so proud of that for years. That one stays in the front of our mind. That's, that's, you know, that's right there. Um, winning every game, you know, that's at home is probably right behind it, uh, early on. Um, just because you set that tone, first of all, you want your fans to, you don't want to disappoint them, but you also, you know, you, you, you establish, uh, I don't want to say intimidation, but you establish uh, a bar. Like it's, it's going to be tough to come in here and win. And if you look at any really good program in the country, their home record is great. I mean, I, I challenge anyone to go find great programs that don't have great home courts. So that has to happen. And then, of course, you go from there and go, well, yeah, but now you got to be a tough road team, too. Well, what that's equating is how you win the conference. How you win a conference is you're great at home and you're pretty darn tough on the road. And two very hard things to do, I mean, year after year. But uh, it's that's uh, those kind of go hand in hand. So I, I, I guess in a way those are the same thing, really, and both of them are very important. Toward that first goal, winning your conference, was there a time early in the year you thought – this team might be a little too short-handed to, to do this sort of thing. Oh, well, that would be day one. That would that would be that would be day one when uh, you're you're counting them up and going, uh, you know, you know, and and, and for me, uh, it, it the the worry slash stress level every week that would go by was was because I was doing the odds. It's like you're doing the odds all the time. What's the odds we can go over two months? with just having this whole team and then two weeks go by and you're like all right two months and two weeks less than two months and then every week you're like okay maybe maybe we can maybe we can find a way and i think we've had three games where one of our guys was out if i'm not mistaken i think we played three games with, with six scholarship players i think um so it just uh kind of went down from there but it's been a concern it's 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 uh, taken years off my life. I'm afraid. I hope I can get them back this spring and summer somehow. Um, but that that was of all the things I worry about. It was just the daily. Can we can we hang in there with this few guys? And can we be lucky enough? Because I knew there's a lot, a lot of luck here. Uh, other teams, you see somebody go down or whatever, and next thing you know, you're hearing about a. Well, I don't even want to say it. I don't even want to jinx it. I don't want to talk about it. But 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 things happen, and you just worry. And uh, we have. I need to say this. And in and Warren and Mark, we have. Oh my gosh, the greatest. We have the greatest trainer and the greatest strength coach. And and don't think for a minute they are not major, major, major reasons why we're sitting here right now talking about a conference championship. They. Uh, and they get no credit, but I'm trying to give it to them now. They are amazing, and uh, we have the best. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.